I think it's another time for let's connect the dots. And we're going to use what people may or may not remember as we had in Dayton, Ohio at one time called incinerators. Big ones. Big ones. The north and south incinerator where we, instead of building a ski hill that no one will use over there at Stony Hollow. It's a big ski hill. Yes. Where it offshoots it methane. Getting into taller it. and taller. Yes. At one time we operated incinerators until uh, our glorious county commissioners and the county administrator, Deb Feldman, submarined it. Well, they, they, they said it would cost too much to put the scrubbers in to make clean incineration possible. They were, oh no, this is the right thing to do. Well, it, no, but it was never the right thing to do. The right thing to do was to pay the money, do the upgrades, and continue on. Well, see, the thing is, is As when you do, hold on, when you do that, you don't get money from people who build landfills, and people who maintain landfills, and people who do demolition and waste collection and all that. Oh, we wouldn't have Feldman or Nan Whaley, is that what you're saying? Yeah, we wouldn't have Nan Whaley. Well, and, you know, I mean... Or, but we'd actually be making our own energy. We could, because the newer versions of incinerators... In other words, what I'm saying is, in, is we don't think about the future, much like oh, Husted, no, we don't think much about like the Husted, saying, oh, well, we're, we're never going to be able to pay for the trains. Well, the well, trains... We're not going to be able to pay for the trains, and the trains are just much too slow, because we don't ever progress. We always so just we can say, we'll give, well. we'll give a two-word answer to the trains. Peak oil. So, now we've justified the trains, <laughs> and we can go back to... Peak oil, for those of you out of the, the Greg vocabulary and the Greg world, is we've already extracted the maximum amount of oil that we can from the ground, and it's a declining resource from, at this point. We're running out. Right? And we're running out. And so, oil is going to progressively get more expensive, and it will cause massive problems for our commuter-based economy. And trains, you know, deliver more people per mile and more products I, per mile. I've got to say, Mullen Advertising in Boston, who does the CSX ads and runs them on public radio, is doing a great job. They talk they about are. how many tons you move on like a, a mile and a gallon of... It's, it's crazy. But it's freedom. It's America's freedom, except for it's... Except for all those trucks on the Saudi road. Arabian oil. It's yeah, weird. and all those <laughs> trucks on the roads that are going from here to California and back and forth. Number one, are they, they're inefficient. Mm -hmm. Two, we're paying extra to keep all those roads fixed up for those heavy trucks. I mean, well, but but those somehow we're, those dollars we're, we're are different to, dollars yes, than, it's okay. than the other dollars. It's okay to subsidize those businesses because I guess trucking firms give a lot more money to politicians because there's a lot more of them well, than the, the the railroads do or well, whatever. Instead, was faced out of the bushes. During his college career, what can you say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it should, that's something it, you're, you're, you're just you know, going off and spouting off no, about people. Well, no, no. And you really should. I know his next door neighbor. I know his I'm next door neighbor. I'm trying to reel him in. I know his next door neighbor. Okay. Anyway, long story Wait short. Wait a second. Would that be in Columbus or would that no, be in well, <laughs> Back when you lived at UD. Okay. Anyway, the, the point is you could have slept in the bushes and still understood that from projecting the future that, that incinerators made a good idea as in 1990s I mean we spend we truck it one way 70 miles at two miles of the gallon at 20 tons per truck Montgomery County is 500 tons a day for five days that's a lot of trash that's a lot we're, of we're trash. trash people we're talking a lot of trash these new waste energy plants in Europe for somehow Europe has somehow exceeded us. We were For the some, bright and shining yes. light. Well, they actually think about things longer term than uh, a quarterly stock return. <laughs> <laughs> Business is, is des you know, all about quarterly stock returns now. So now nah. we are sitting around with two hulking things that, you know... What? Two hulking what? Incinerators. Incinerators that are shut down. Shut down. Nothing. They're, they're now waste transfer stations. Yes, yes. I went there twice today to the waste transfer station. <sighs> and instead of burning yes. it... All that fuel, all that petrol, we're going to ship right. it 70 miles down to the... Now, now we got to move it somewhere else and put it in a, into another hole in the ground that we haven't learned that putting things into holes in the ground doesn't really work. But we're saving it for our future inhabitants. <laughs> <'Cause we're, laughs> 
They're going to have super fun sites to deal with. No, they're going to dig it up. They're going to dig up those books I threw away today. Yeah. But long story short is connect the dots. You know, if you look at what we did with the incinerators, a very short-sighted, you know, non-investment. We shut them down. We were worried about dioxin. The dioxin problem solved in Europe. They they use them to make energy. They, they say that they're actually cleaner burning than your backyard barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> Now, and we like to barbecue around here. So connect the dots, Mr. Hoosted, if you can. Um, you know, you should add Wait a second. Come on. The only dots he can connect are on a football schematic. He doesn't well, understand the rest of Wait a second. Talk. I'm not going to... He knows how football to... players because... Football. It should take a team, and a team should understand the long-term goals to get into the end zone. There, there is no team in Houston. Oh, I know. He's, well, why should he worry about a train? They always took him on the corporate DPNL jet. jet off to the. Who needs a train? Yes. Those right. are for the other rabble. Guess the key about these decisions is you have to look at the long-term investment, not today, tomorrow. You have to look at what's strategically correct, what's going to move you forward. Didn't in the, the Indians look at seven generations? If it didn't impact seven generations, I don't know. I don't know about that, but like the standard Japanese company planning horizon is three hundred years. Boy, you just can't make it up. One quarter. Boy, that short-term memory. Anyway, trains and incinerators. <laughs>